Hello, Sairam students. Okay, now hope you all are practicing the given sums and doing your homework. Yes, now in the last class, children, we had already started with a new chapter. That is chapter 11, percentage. Now in this chapter, we have already studied the meaning of percentage. And in the last class, we studied about conversion of percentage to fraction and also percentage to decimal. Correct? So today, let us continue with the same chapter. And today in part 2, we will be learning about conversion of fraction to percentage and also conversion of decimal to percentage. So let us start with our first topic that is conversion of fraction to percentage. Now to convert fraction to percentage, we will divide the numerator of the fraction by its denominator and then multiply the result by 100 and put the percent sign. Okay, so what we'll do is we will first divide the numerator of the fraction by its denominator and then multiply the result by 100 and put the percent sign. Okay, let us start with an example here. Here we have to convert 7 upon 8 to percentage. So what we'll do is first we will divide the 7 by 8. Now 7 is not divisible by 8. So we'll put a 0 here. Okay. 8 into 0 is 0. Okay. Now again 7 is not divisible. So you will add a 0 here and put the decimal point. Now 70, 8, 8 is 64. Now 70 minus 64 is 6. Okay. Just carry over. Okay. Then add a 0 again. 6 is not divisible. Now, 8 7 is 56. Now, 60 minus 56 is 40. Sorry, 4. We'll add a 0 so that we can divide it. Now, 8 5 is 40. So, your remainder is 0. Okay. So, your answer is 0 0.875. Now, to this answer, you will multiply it by 100. Now we have already studied in the last chapter that is multiplication of a decimal number by 10, 100 and thousands. So to multiply it by 100, we will just shift the decimal places two places to the right. Why? Because it is multiplied by 100. So when you just shift the decimal point, your decimal point will be after 7 that is 87.5. Okay. Or what you can do is one more method. That is, you can directly just multiply, that is 7 upon 8 multiplied by 100, you can do. Just cancel it here. 4, it is 8 and 10, 100 is divisible by 4. That is, seven, 4 to the 8 and 4 to the 8, 4, 5 are 20. Okay. So, this 25 into 7, you will be getting the answer has... 175 divided by 2. Now this you can divide it. When you divide you will get the answer has 87.5. Yes, both the methods you can do the sum by using both the methods. Yes, now coming to our exercise, exercise part, exercise 11.1. Yes, yes, start doing it in your notebook. Now convert the following fractions to percentage. Now here will I'll just show you both the methods but you can just do it by any one method. So first method is by dividing this numerator by the denominator 2 okay it is not divisible so you'll put a 0 I put a decimal point and add a 0 to divide it so that will be 5 fours are 20. Okay. Now to this 0 0.4 you will multiply it by 100. When you multiply it by 100 shift your decimal point two places towards your right. So your answer will be 40%. That is or you can just write like this 0 0.4 when you just it will be 400 and then afterwards you can place the decimal point that is after one decimal. So your answer is 40%. Okay. 
Or the second method, what I already told you, that is 2 upon 5 multiplied by 100. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, and then 0. Just multiply it. Now, finally, when you multiply the numerators, that is 2 into 20, that is you will get the answer as 40, and then put the percent sign. Okay. Yes, the working is shown here 2 upon 5, 2 into 100 upon 5. So, 5 that is divisible, 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, and then 0. So, 20 into 2 is 40 percent. Coming to the next sum, 14 upon 25. So, we will just multiply, we will use any one method and show that is. 14 upon 25 into 100. Now 25, 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 2 is a 10 and then 0. Again 5, 1 is a 5 and then 5, 4 is a is 20. Now when you multiply this 14 into 4, that will be 56%. Okay. Now the working is shown here in this slide. So you can just do your calculation. Or you can just do 25 ones are 25, 25 fours are is 100. So 14 into 4, that is 56 percent. Or you can start with 5 also, 5 fives are 25, 5 twos are 10 and then 0. Again divided by 5, 5 ones are 5 and then 5 fours are 20. So same answer, 14 into 4, that is 56 percent. And please do not forget to put the person sign. Coming to the next sum. 74 upon 40, same that is 74 upon 40 multiplied by 100. So, this 0 can be cancelled. Now, this 4 and 10 you can divide it by 2. 2 twos are 4, 2 fives are 10. Now, again, this 74 is divisible by 2. So, 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6, 1 carry over 2 sevens are 14. Now, when you multiply 37 multiplied by 5, you will get the answer has 185 percent. Okay. Yes. Now, coming to the second topic, that is conversion of decimals to percentage. Now, to convert decimal to percentage, we will change the decimal into fraction first. And then multiply it by 100 and then put the percent sign. So, all these things you have to keep it in mind children. So, what we will do is to convert from decimal to percentage. We will first change the decimal into fraction and then multiply it by 100 and then put the percent sign. So, let us start with an example here. Now, 0 0.058 is your decimal. So, this first you will write it. In a fraction form. So, your, when you write it, that will be, here you have got the decimal point and it is after decimal, that is 3 places. So, that means your fraction will be 58 upon 1000. Now, this you have to change it into percentage. So, this you will multiply it by 100. Now, cancel this two zeros. Okay, now it is 58 upon 10. Now, using a decimal point, you can just write it in a, that is 5.8 percent. Yes? Now, let us start with our exercise sums. Again, here the question number 6, convert the following decimals to percentage. So, here what we will do is, first we will change this decimals into fraction. So, it is after the decimal point. Two places so your fraction will be 15 upon 100 the second step what you have to do is you will multiply it by 100 now here you can easily cancel the two zeros so your answer final answer is 15 percent okay yes coming to the next sum here, I've shown this working here in this slide. 0 0.15 changed it into a fraction first. 
and then multiply it by 100. So cancel the two zeros. So your final answer is 15 percent. Next sum 0 0.01. So first step is you will change it into fraction. So your fraction that is after decimal point two places. So your fraction will be 1 upon 100. Second step is to multiply it by 100 to change it into percentage. Now cancel these two zeros. So your answer is 1 percent. Yes, coming to the next sum. H1 that is 0 0.184. Now after the decimal play, uh, point, three decimal places. Yes, so we'll write the fraction has 184 upon 1000. Three decimal places, so we'll write the fraction as 184 upon 1000. Now to convert it into percentage, we'll multiply it by 100. Now cancel these two zeros here. So that will be 184 upon 10. So after now here it is to mark the decimal point. That is after one decimal, so you'll mark it as 18.4. That is it is divided by 10. So after one decimal place, you'll place the decimal point. So your final answer is 18.4 percent yes now based on this topic that is conversion of the following fractions to percentage and conversion of decimals to percentage home assignment sums for you which you have to do it in your homework part yes now four sums here that is to convert the following fractions to percentage and four sums that is to convert the following decimals to percentage yes so that's all for today children meet you in the next class with a new topic, thank you and keep practicing.